the Twitter gods have giveth these last couple of weeks. You know, you had the streamer controversy in which a streamer by the name of Nick Merckx commented on a tweet about a school board meeting that ended in fisticuffs between parents and LGBT protesters. And here's the comment Nick made. They should leave little children alone. That's the real issue. Hmm. What a hateful thought, huh? To assume that you should let children remain children and not take away their precious innocence? Puberty doesn't come soon enough, Nick, you fucking bigot. <laughs> you know, that's at least what uh, Activision thought. Because uh, after Nick sent out that comment, Activision removed his COD bundle pack. You know, and I don't know how much Nick was making off that, but I bet you it hurt financially. You know, um, Activision is part of the leftist secular religion. Nick Merckx insulted their sacred cow, so now they must punish him. Stone the bigots. You know? Other streamers such as uh, Tim the Tapman and Dr. Disrespect came to Nick's aid, but there uh, is little they can do but show solidarity while staying out of political fray because they, you know, too need to make a living, I guess. You know? Tim the Tapman uh, asked Activision to remove his bundle, and they obliged. But Tim didn't call out Activision for playing politics, and uh, Dr. Disrespect uninstalled Call of Duty live on air, but refused to address the political aspect of it. <laughs> it's just like they had a chance to kind of make a statement, and they didn't. You know, uh, video game streamers are not immune to the culture war that is currently happening. And uh, you guys are going to get dragged in it like everyone else. Now, and this thought that you can stay neutral on these issues is no longer a thing. You know, Nick Merckx is just the beginning. Now, they'll, they'll be coming for you soon enough. <laughs>